Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Lucky. This channel's Game On, where we just keep on gaming on. Today we've got more Octopath Traveler. This is the 26th episode of our Let's Play. We're playing as Hikari, the warrior who is seeking to take back his homeland from his evil brother. Right now we're in Wellgrove, which is a city in the or a village in the Leaflands, uh, which is far to the west. And we're looking for a merchant named Azuma. We're going to try to bribe him for information about this weapons delivery. We're going to try to intercept it. So let's look for a green arrow on our mini map. It's over here. It's in the tavern. Go figure. Well, look at this. Let's see what he has to say. I'm a merchant and I don't do anything for free, even for a friend of Kazan's. Okay, so we got a bribe. Which is one I of have my main request. skills. Merchant doing business in the Leaflands. He is an old acquaintance and drinking companion of Kazan's. He has recently caught wind of Ku soldiers frequenting the secret forest on the outskirts of Wellgrove and sent word of their activity to Kazan. Information gleaned. Weapons deal. Details. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Any small business you can afford me is much appreciated. I sense greatness stirring within you. I suppose Kazan wouldn't have thrown his lot in with you otherwise. What is it he always says? An eagle can take the measure of man and need alike from afar. Now, as for the matter of this transaction... A little bird told me it will take place deep within the forest, out of sight from prying eyes. Even so, these weapons are vital to Ku's plans, and will likely be heavily guarded. Nice. Go with caution. I will. Many thanks for the advice. Okay, make for the secret forest, but we can also do more travel banter. I like that. Let's hear that. We have a difficult fight ahead. We do, but don't worry. I'll heal any wounds you may incur. Thank you, Casty. It's reassuring to have an apothecary as skilled as you in our ranks. Hehe, <laughs> it is a pleasure to serve. But do my principles not vex you? I have pledged to heal any wounded, whether they be friend or foe. Carly, I have no objections to that. I too would rather we save lives where we can. Truth be told, Ku could use more with your principled view. Thank you. Call upon me whenever you need. I'm confused about what those moments are, whether they're just more character development in between to make you feel like you're interacting with your party and stuff, or if they're going to grant me some abilities later, or it's an acknowledgement of an upgrade of some sort. Um, it seems to happen when the story progresses, or most likely it's just more character development. Oh yeah, we already talked to this girl several times. <clears throat> to the sacred forest, again. This mission shall determine the course of our nation. It is a great honor to be assigned guard duty, Captain Ritsu Mishuyo. An honor I am all too proud to accept, General. I know of your humble origins. You've done well to reach your station. See these weapons delivered safely, and His Majesty will surely lift you even higher. Yes, General. I'll protect the shipment with my life. <laughs> Listen to that, guys. It's Ritsu. <clears throat> it's not every day you see a prince reduced to robbery. <laughs> I will do what I must in, ser in the service to a brighter future. A future without bloodshed, if I recall. I might consider living in a coup where you're king. It would be nice not to smell that stench again. That it would. 
However, the road ahead is choked with enemies. If you walk with me, you will witness bloodshed again. That's fine with me, as long as we get what we want at the end. The less blood I have to see, the better. We're the same mind. No blood shall be spilled without purpose. Drone is so sick of bloodshed. But us. Oh, yeah. Take his aid. No, no. This'll cool you down. Prepare yourself. My spirit does not care. My abilities until we meet Ritsu. We have my turn. So my Afraid of the dark. Oh. Now it begins. My spear Goodbye. does not air. What to do? Darkness, Afraid nice. of the dark. Eleven hundred damage. Here goes. It's so funny, one of my characters has a limit break that gives me it, like up to 99,999 damage, but I've never even hit 9,999 damage. I barely even hit. I don't know if I've ever even hit 2,000 damage yet. Can you guys tell me what's the most damage you've hit in this game? Leave a comment down below with the highest damage you've ever got. Well now. This'll cool you down. I know no cure for evil. Throne needs to be cured because she's not feeling very good. Those guys are like the first guys to fight there. Of course they're gonna send them right after you right away. But we got Cassie whose SP heals every time she breaks somebody, so we just heal like that and we'll them. We probably just go over here, right? I shall be your opponent. Blessing of Dark. 800, that's really good. What to do? Next. <laughs> My blade sinks. Now! Ooh. He's next. I'm broken. Here I go. Ah, she's poison one. Arrow of fortune! Time to divvy up the army. It's nice. Treasure chest in here. Save the game, guys, huh? I am General Roe of Ku. I come here in His Majesty's stead. I don't care a whit for titles or names. Show me the coin. It's been a pleasure. Almost disappointingly uneventful. Well then. Load up the wagons. <sighs> Just gonna charge in there? All right. <laughs> Jeez. Prince Hikari. <clears throat> yes. 
Those weapons stay where they are. But I won't shed blood if I can avoid it. I must set an example for the future of my home. I don't know about that. Leave this place now and you'll keep your lives. Hikari. They say you're a traitor. His Majesty has put a pretty price on your head. Wouldn't matter anyways. If you do not stand down, you will face my blade. Bring the evil spirit out. I shall be your opponent. My yes, turn. I use all of our power. Thank you more guys after this. Let's see. Let's get them all with the Luminous King. Take so, this. So good. Oh, I can only do one of them. Here I go. My blade sinks. Now weak to the sword. Here I go. Axe attack. Weak to the axe. Okay. That's a good. That's a good one. Um. Try that, I guess. Nope, I'll leave the arrow. Open your eyes. Now it begins. My spear does not end. Spear and axe. Ready? Very strong, though. You're too strong. My turn. See about light damage. Signs right. Oh, yes, they are. Awesome. Here two people have their nests. Better skills just seem so useless. Ah, there it is! Burn! Suck a burn! What to do? My spear does not dare. I probably could have hit him with the aggressive slash, but that's what to do. No, we want third skills and we want them in essence. Sacred flame. Sign rock. Bang. Thousand damage. Ooh. Here goes. There we go. It's always a classic. Who else is weak to? Now it begins. My spear does not end. I'm just getting warm. We'll take up. a second here while we're down this last guy to get ready for the next battle. Coming right here. Many thanks. Speed back up. Anybody else is this low? Meantime. It doesn't actually just automatically heal it. Hang in there. I know. The car is moves kind of expensive, so is. What to do? Better. What to do? Use this to create. Thank you, Ken. Coming right in. I owe you. you owe me. My turn. Hang in there. I appreciate it, Throne. Prepare yourself. I almost do this straight up by the larger healing grapes because those ones are almost useless now. Thanks, Cotty. Well, let's get out of this battle. Sacred flame. Shine bright. Now it begins. Yeah. It's over. What a show. Uh, 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 
and so it goes. Okay, I think I set us pretty, up pretty good for the next part of the spice. I guarantee it's going to be two parter. There's no way it's just three of those little henchmen. We're not going to fight Ritsu right now. <laughs> Four bodies and only kill three of them. Curses. Enough. Five. You're no match for me. Hikari. Ritsu. I see you yet live, my prince. Leave the weapons here and go. You've come all this way just to snatch glory from my hands again? Fine. I'll repay the debt I owe you. There will be no quarter this time, Ritsu. No one will keep me from guiding Ku to the future I envision. A future without bloodshed. Ha! A grand idea. Why do you need that sword, then? Seems to me that's an instrument of death, not peace. Or am I wrong, Hikari? Who is the product of an endless cycle of war? It was built upon a mountain of sacrifices. So long as Mugen is king, nothing will change. But this sword will sever that vicious cycle. <laughs> it seems you've chosen your path, my prince. But you chose wrong. You should have followed Lord Mugen. General Roe, you had my father's ear, his trust. Sheathe your sword, please. I don't want to fight you. My allegiance is to the kingdom, whosoever may wear the crown. And we are here by direct order of his majesty. We cannot simply abandon our duty. If you mean to take these weapons from us, then it will have to be by force. But be prepared to find out... ...why they call me the Wild Bull of Ku. Better men than you have crumpled before my charge. I never wanted to cross swords with you, who served my father so faithfully. But if you insist on forcing me to bear steel... Oh, man. Challenge General Rue. Okay, guys. <clears throat> we're going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to challenge General Rue. I'm lucky. The channel's game on. We just keep on gaming on. If you guys like this Let's Play of Octopath Traveler 2 so far, give me a like and a subscribe. That'd be awesome. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. We'll take out the general here. Look at those two swords. This is going to be great. We'll see you.